We made it to the Narrows. It's so exciting. Victoria and I are freaking out. We are here in the Narrows. We've taken a few shots. We're with Enlightened Photography Tours and Kate is our guide. And she just gave the most amazing tip. Make sure if you're taking a picture with uh, rocks in the river that the rocks are wet. So we took a picture and then kicked the water onto the rocks and it looks so much better. Take a look at just the, the difference here. So this is with, when we walked up, no water on the rocks. And here it is again with water on the rocks. It's just, it's just amazing. So the river right here is gonna be cutting through that way and with the glow of the rocks behind it, um, I think it's gonna be really nice. I'm at about two and a half seconds, F16, so I'm able to get that uh, long exposure on the river as well as a polarizer to get some of the glare out. So, take a look. Alright, so Kate told us that this is the only place in the Narrows that the sand makes these ripples and so we really want to take advantage of that. I'm going to get really close to the water with my wide angle so I can get all that sand as my main interest, the subject of the picture. So by this time of the day, the sun was shining on the canyon walls, really causing a pretty good glare, so I absolutely needed my polarizer on this one for the water. All right, my settings for this one are uh, one and a third seconds at f16, and I'm doing f16 so that the focus is clear from the foreground all the way to the background. And ISO 100 at 14 millimeters, so I'm really wide. The background, as you can see, just goes on forever. It's amazing. We have that amazing Zion glow, so I'm really excited about this picture. Take a look. So we have had a great time learning from our instructor, Kate, with Enlightened Photography. I highly suggest you guys look them up. I'll put their website and everything in the description below. And also we got all of our gear from the Zion Adventure Company. So I'll also put their information in the description below. We made it about two miles in the Virgin River through the Narrows and made it to our final photo destination. I decided to go for a pano here. I hadn't done a ton of them in Zion so far, so I wanted to try it out. I'm taking about five images here and putting them all together just to get a sense of place in all the chaos of this scene. These huge massive boulders act as a leading line going straight up through the trees and then onto the cliffs behind with that Zion glow. I'll be talking a little more in depth about pano settings in a later video, but for now, all you need to know is that my settings were about an eighth of a second at F16 and at ISO 100, and completely manual to be sure that none of the pictures vary once I merge them all in post-production.
the last image I wanted to take uh, was a little more simple. It still has quite a bit going on. The bottom of the image has the river flowing through from the right towards the middle. And uh, it has this tree that's already lost its leaves for the winter, kind of acting as a frame. But the stark contrast of the trunk and the limbs against the glow of this beautiful red rock in the background really pops, and I really like this image. This was taken at 22 millimeters, ISO 100, and 0.8 seconds at F16. To me, it just kind of captures the narrows. Of course, Kate didn't forget to wet all the rocks for us. So the Narrows has been amazing. My wife only fell twice, so that's good. She, um... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Victoria almost fell again. If you ever come to the Narrows, bring my wife for entertainment. It's really fun. And uh, also bring your camera. <laughs> because there are some shots to be had, let me tell you what. Coming in the fall, um, there's definitely less people. The water's about 40-ish, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, but with our dry gear we have, neoprene socks, canyoneering shoes, it's fine. We are doing great. I feel the cold, like right now I'm walking into the water. As long as I'm moving, it is just fine. It's not too deep, it's not too deep. So with these shots, I was learning a lot. Um, biggest takeaway, get your rocks wet. I mean, it's kind of silly, but amazing. Get your rocks wet. So we have two more excursions set up with Enlightened Photography. We're gonna be going to a secret slot canyon tour that they have for us set up, as well as a night star photography tour in the park. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for watching. Be sure and hit subscribe, notification bell, to get more of these Zion videos every week. Keep up with my adventures in photography. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.